What's up everybody? My name's Jeff and welcome back to GIS Chops. I hit 500 subs this week so I'm going to give away this little magnetic globe to a lucky winner. I'll tell you how to, you can qualify for that at the end of the video so stick around. I want that. In this edition of Tool Belt Tuesday we're going to be talking about the Move Tool which is located in the Modify Features pane. So let's go look at the Move Tool. This time we're going to be in Nashville to move our features. I've got a bunch of weird looking features here that we're going to move around. So you find the move tool in one really easy way on the edit pane. The move tool is right here in your favorites in the tools group. I think they put it in the favorites group by default when you install ArcGIS Pro. I guess it's a very uh, popular tool. So they put it in the favorites group. You can click on that tool or you can get at it going to the modify features pane by clicking this button and then the move tool is in the alignment group so when i select the move tool and i don't have any features selected it defaults to the selection tool to have you select some features so let's select my features here and then we see that they're those selected features are here in this window and you can interact with those. You can tell it to only select this or unselect this or flash it. And then after you select some features, you see it, it automatically changed to the move tool. I can tell I'm ready to move things when I move my pointer over a feature, it changes to that move mouse pointer. So if I just want to move them, I just click and drag and it moves those features. It leaves what the features used to look like so you can see what the move would look like. And then to commit the move, I hit this green checkbox or I move something and I press F2. Same thing. The green checkbox or F2 will commit the move. Now if I activate the tool with a selection, it goes right to the move tool and I can just move the features. And then if I don't like the move, I can hit this discard. The cancel button also has a keyboard shortcut of control delete and that negates the movement. Notice that there are other tools in that come up with the move tool you have rotate and scale these tools are used in conjunction and so they put them together uh, very often I move something and then I rotate it so that's why those those are all together I want you to pay attention to what happens when I select a feature this yellow dot appears once I have a feature selected this is called the anchor point and you can see it moves with with the feature wherever you move it. I like the way ArcGIS Pro does the anchor point over ArcMap because it's much easier to move that anchor point. Let me show you what I mean by zooming into this area. I'll discard that move. We'll zoom in here. Let's say I want to snap this polygon to this the end of this line. If I try to do that, it doesn't snap. And if I'm zoomed in here, I can't see the anchor point because the anchor point gets dropped on the centroid of the polygon. So if I zoom to that selection and select my move tool, you can see the anchor points here in the centroid of where that polygon is. And I drew that polygon in that shape so that the centroid would be in a weird place. But if I'm zoomed in and I select the move tool, and this happens a lot with road features. Road features are pretty long and you select a road feature, the anchor point isn't gonna be visible when you, you go to move it. But ArcGIS Pro has a neat little trick that if you hold down the control key and put and click on a vertex, it moves the anchor point to that vertex then I can move it and snap to that end line, to that end point. 
I thought that was really handy. Would save me a lot of time with arc map. You had to zoom back out, grab the anchor point, move it to about where you want it, because sometimes it was hard to get it to snap to the right place. Zoom back in, move the anchor point again, and then move it to snap. So let me show you what, what I mean by going to arc map. I'm going to cancel this and then go to arc map. So I've got the same features here. They are actually the same features. In arc map, I have to start editing. Now if I zoom into this area and I select this polygon, I can't see the anchor point. If I do control click, it doesn't. It just changes the or modifies the selection. So I have to zoom to the back out to the selected feature and the anchor point is quite less visible because it's a little X. If you have aerial imagery turned on behind here instead of this base map, that X is pretty hard to find. So I need to hold down control, hover over that anchor point, then move it up to that area, zoom back in, whoops, zoom back in, and then move it. And it doesn't give you the option to cancel that move, you have to do undo. Anyway, I like the way ArcGIS Pro does a move, especially that anchor point. I like it much better over the arc map method. So thanks Esri for that, that neat feature. When you use that control click method, it also adheres to the snapping environment. So you can see if I get close there and I click, it's going to snap to the edge of that line. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that little trick. You can also hit control and then drag it and then snap. That little trick right there is worth a subscribe and a like. Last thing I'm going to talk about is the reposition toolbar. When I select a bunch of features, this little toolbar pops up down here at the bottom. It's got a little gear icon. You can change how big it is. I think I like it smaller. It defaults to the medium size. So that's what has your uh, finish and cancel. It also has a stretch topology. So if your features are involved in a topology and this button is clicked, you can see it's blue. It's going to stretch things in your topology to match your move proportionally. And then you can also switch between the move tool, which is highlighted so it's active. I can change to the rotate tool or the scale tool from this reposition toolbar. So that's all I have for the move tool. If you know something that I missed, let me know in the comments. If you know a cool trick like that anchor point, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, so to be able to win the globe, you need to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. And that will get you qualified. So I'll give you two weeks to do those things. After two weeks, we'll draw the lucky winner, and I'll make arrangements to get that shipped to your house. So be sure to subscribe, like this video, and put a comment down below. So this little giveaway is my way of saying thank you to those who have helped promote my channel and subscribed, liked, and commented. Uh, it's just my way of saying thanks. And be sure to tell your friends, tell your colleagues. Help me get the word out. Thanks.